Uh, Dean Blandino, I've sent him hilarious DMs on Twitter whenever his refs have <laughs> fucked me over. Hilarious. I wish I could find them. So this is in October of 2016. Oh. October 2nd, 2016. This is after we play in England. We lose to the Jaguars mm -hmm. in London, England. This is also the same weekend as Joe <laughs> Philbin's <laughs> and mine and Vinatieri's 90-minute massage. A lot happened. Yeah. So in the game, uh -huh. there's always – the way the K-balls are work, it is – there are seven balls that are taken into a room. The equipment managers and an NFL official go in there. They work the balls. They decide what balls they're going to put into the game. They only get an hour or a half hour. They only get a half hour to work these balls. Normally, balls one through four are the only balls that they work on. We'll just keep these balls in rotation all game, both sides. Whenever we kick, will they kick. Mm -hmm. Same four balls. Mm -hmm. The other three balls just might as well be antique balls. We'll just give them away. They're not being touched. Okay. When we were in England, there was an English, English NFL official in there in the room watching. And they work the balls. They work uh, the first four balls great. They get up there. Oh, Walt. Oh, fucking Walt. <laughs> oh, Walt Anderson said, ah, no, I'm the going worst. with these three, the last three balls. So we were kicking Ugh. brand new footballs in the middle of the game strictly because Walt said, nah, I'm going to use these balls instead to the English official that was there. Wow. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this doesn't affect literally anybody in all of England. All of England. <laughs> This doesn't affect anybody in all of England except for me, uh, Vinatieri, and the Jaguars, punters, and kickers. Uh -huh. that, that, there's only four of us that Walt is deliberately fucking us on purpose. <laughs> okay? Uh -huh. That's where my hatred for him began. Right. I didn't have a problem with Walt. Old ass man doing his thing. You do what you got to do. Well, I had no problem until he deliberately fucked us over. Uh -huh. So our equipment manager has to hear it from me and Vinatieri and the other team's kickers and punters because uh, that equipment manager, he went in there 30 minutes, by the way. They break a sweat in there. They're only allowed to use a brush. And like, that's it, just a brush. And the NFL official watching them, it's like, a, it's like a, a minute to win it type thing. Like they set a clock. Like you have 30 minutes, begin. They come out sweating. They get like, I, I buy them nice Christmas gifts for going yeah. in there and breaking uh -huh. in the balls. New ball, old ball, like seven yards difference, by the way. If you break in a ball, they used to be able to put them in the fucking drying machine. Uh -huh. They used to be, or no, yeah, drying the machine. The dryer. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> it is a drying machine. It is a machine. It is a machine. driving machine. But driving it all machine. changed whenever, um, fuck, Mitch Berger, uh -huh. I think his name. Yeah, that's the name. Mitch Berger was a punter, right? Uh -huh. So I guess Mitch Berger was beating up these balls so bad they were starting to look like rugby balls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and somehow the ball got into the game and Brett Favre threw an interception with it. Oh, so man, Brett Favre is. bitched about the ball being too beat up. All of a sudden there was this whole, just like there is now, mm -hmm. this whole overreaction to the K-balls. Every ball had to be brand new. So there was a year in the NFL where kickers were kicking balls that were just brand new. Only K-ball. It became a big deal. It became a big ordeal. The K-ball, the K-ball, the K-ball. became a real thing. So there, these brand new balls had it went straight from the box to opening kickoff. Uh, uh. Just terrible year for those kickers and punters. Mm. By the way, I don't know how their records were, but those guys they had a terrible <laughs> year. So then it slowly evolved into this time limit: you get thirty minutes to break it in before the day of the game. Must come out of the box. Blah blah blah. Right. So it's a whole ordeal because it is. It matters. Like uh -huh. if Vinatieri has to kick a fifty yarder to win it, and he, the, the brand new ball could definitely fuck him over. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. So it's a big ordeal. Then during the game. During the game, it's an extra point, 33-yard extra point. And I gave a uh, – we went on two. I had a good cadence. Yeah. I had a lot of confidence in my cadence. Mm -hmm. I had a good bellow. <laughs> I had a good one. <laughs> if I was to ever get in and play quarterback, I think I could have drew some people off. I respected it. I don't get a lot of time to fuck with anybody in my position, right? Uh -huh. I'm just standing there punting. I can kick to the other side. But the ability to draw somebody off sides, I took a lot of, I took a lot of pride in. Uh -huh. Sure. Numerous, by the way. If you look me up, look up my film. I think I have four to five offside draws on oh, people. Wow. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Okay, so Walt, they made this big rule where you weren't allowed to move your head forward and you weren't allowed to move your hand forward. So literally, I was going through film with my special teams coach, Tom McMahon, and then we were asking refs if what I was doing was allowed. By the way, eight yards behind the line of scrimmage. It's, it's almost impossible. Right. So we go for this extra point. It's in this London-England game. I'm already pissed off at Walt Anderson for what he's done to the balls. I don't like it. So I get down. We go on two because they had a good edge rusher. 
And I see this dude literally just like he's he's the nose tackle. He is up on his hands, right? Like you know, and remember the Titans were like, if it's red knuckle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, red, like <laughs> I, I felt like I could see this guy like leaning forward. I'm like, oh, this guy's ready to go right now. So I was like, all right, all right, all right let's go, let's go, let's go. So we line up, and I gave him a nice hard sir. And he just falls, like, right into Overton, right? <laughs> I'm like, bang, let's go for two. I just move that thing up to the one-yard line, basically, up there. Let's go for two. Let's steal a point here. Uh, good for me. Good for me, right? Uh -huh. So Overton is a little nosy. He's in the ref circle because it's, like, right behind him. And uh, the side, side ref or whatever the fuck it is, he's like, ah, nose tackle there. Uh, leaned in, uh, hit the guy or whatever. And Walt goes, nope. I'm going to call it on number one. Actually says, nope, I'm going to call it on number one. Turns around, says that I deliberately drew them off sides, five-yard penalty, number one, backs them. So now Vinny's kicking like a 40-yard fucking oh, extra fuck. point with bad balls because of fucking Walt Anderson. Oh, fuck. So I hate this guy, right? So I, I'm fuming at this uh -huh. point. Obviously, everybody's heard the story where I took like 13 edibles <laughs> to get on the plane back home because I thought more, hey, it was a bad spot. Everybody's heard yeah, this. Yeah. So then a day later, two days later, I go uh, to Dean Blandino. I saw he followed me on Twitter, and I'd never reached out to him before. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't fucking do this Walt Anderson guy. Couldn't take it. Mm -hmm. Vinny misses that extra point, by the way. Whew, I'm a terrible person right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not on you, though. Could just snap it on fucking yeah, one. Could've. Just be a fucking... Just, just snap it on one. Don't be a fucking extra prick. You know? Yeah. yeah. Trying to steal a point. I was! Hey, let's go. Made a dude. play. It's the difference between winning and losing. Same game, Blake Bortles scores a touchdown. Punts, by the way. Punts it in the stands. It's his profile picture right now against us that same weekend. Uh. <laughs> a lot of things happened that weekend. Mm -hmm. So I go, hey, boss man, any way we can chat about the K-ball rules and such? We'd like to clarify some stuff as well as maybe help out. Mm -hmm. He goes, absolutely, give me a call this week when you have time. Oh, all right. Well, here we go. So I asked him a day later, you open? He said, yeah, give me a call. Afterwards... I responded with, appreciate you, brother. Mm -hmm. That was a great conversation. He goes, no problem, man. Don't hesitate to reach out if other things come up. I go, is that right? He goes, yes. <laughs> I go, I'll keep that in mind. And that's how the conversation ends with Dean Blandino. Good guy, then. Yeah, yeah I went to the call, though. And he said, oh, well, that's just a part of the ref exercising the process of the cable. I am sorry. I will relay the message. I said, I already told him, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Dean, I already told him, Dean. I already told him. <laughs>